don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market. And okay, so right now, okay, you guys are probably going to dislike the video, but before you dislike the video, please just you know, hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. Okay. Because I'm going to be talking about Sheeb, Doge and Bitcoin. And all of this is relevant to if you're a Shiba Inu holder, Dogecoin holder, you always need to, you know, analyze the risk. Okay. When looking at the chart. So please just don't be someone that just, you know, is online and just looking at the bullish scenarios, because although it, it's great, you know, it's what you want to hear. Um, it's a good video source. I would just always say, just know that if there is downside, how is that downside going to happen and how can you best protect yourself? So that, 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 that's basically what this video is. So, um, let's get straight into this on why, um, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, you know, uh, Bitcoin could all suffer, you know, a major pullback. Okay. And this is basically from what I'm looking at in the chart. This is a very, very important video. Now I know this video isn't going to get, you know, as much views as my other ones, but I don't really mind because as long as, you know, you're smart um, and, you know, you're looking at the crypto charts, I would say that you always got to pay attention to both scenarios. Okay. And then when the bearish scenario, you know, the bad scenario becomes invalidated, then we can get super bullish again. So what are we looking at? Okay. So I'm firstly going to, you know, tell you guys about sheep. Um, and the possibility of a retracement. Now, not really a crash, but a retracement because you guys have to remember that, um, you know, retraces, re retracements are very, very healthy, okay? I um, mean, any major crypto retracements are extremely healthy. I'm going to be talking about how SHIB could be having a retracement. So we always want to look, okay, firstly at the daily timeframes. So as you guys can see right here, the daily time frame. this is a um, huge, um, you know, symmetrical triangle that's what we're looking at here very very huge symmetrical triangle nothing out of the ordinary okay that's what we're looking at now the thing is okay i was looking at earlier okay i was just making a video and i realized something and i was like okay i definitely need to make a video on this so um i was looking at let me just show you guys okay i was looking at the rsi okay the relative strength index for shiba inu okay um and i'm gonna do three different parts of the video and i'm gonna show you how they all tie in guys because i don't just look at one factor and say this is gonna happen i look at every single factor and then you make a decision based on that so as you can see here the relative strength index of Shiba Inu basically shows us how strong the coin is okay and so far you guys can see that we've been supported here supported here supported here and supported here so so far it shows us that Shiba Inu is getting stronger you know it's getting stronger and stronger which is good it's good for the coin okay but this remember this is over months and months and months guys which is definitely good and you know to be honest I really should have picked this up I really should have seen that Shiba in its accumulation phase was literally getting more and more bullish um leading to that breakout which was inevitable now okay the thing is okay um, prices usually return to that level of support, guys. Let me just change the color of this so you guys can see it more prominently. The thing is, okay, prices, what I've realized is that they usually return to a level of support, okay? that that That's what you guys need to understand. Prices usually return to a level of support, which means, okay, that Sheeb could, on the RSI, okay, could come back down here, guys, okay? That is what people aren't realizing, which means that Sheeb could come back down here, which would actually be very healthy for the coin. I mean, guys, look at the previous RSI, guys. Every Anytime we've gotten into, you know, the oversold area, so basically what the RSI means is that here is when we usually we're going to have a pullback, and here is usually when the coin is going gonna to go up a bit. Now, it's not that simple. That's just layman's terms. But as you guys can see, over this period of time, okay, Sheep has all, always retraced back to this line, as you guys can see, once. Um, in fact, let's let me show you guys. We've retraced back to this line once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Okay, and are we going to have a sixth time, guys? And uh, what you guys need to understand is that the timing of this is almost perfect. Okay, now this is the RSI on the daily time frame, so this shows us what's most likely going to happen on a broad scale. Okay, um, you know we could we could blast up, we could blast up. I've seen it before, guys. In crypto, you can blast up, okay, um, and eventually come back down. But just understand that um, we can also come back to this RSI line right here. And this, if we do come back down here, this is why I say I'm looking at both sides because I'll, I'll be buying here, guys. If I see the RSI touch this line, that's me. I'm, I'm buying. I'm going all in okay because i'm like okay i know that sheep is about to explode again because this is a historical bullish line as you guys can see also okay what's crazy about this guys is that usually um you know you know you can have bullish and bearish setups okay and i'm going to show you guys why bitcoin is setting up a little bit bearish okay guys look at bitcoin okay look at this chart okay i just want to show you guys this quickly um bitcoin has been doing a broadening wedge as you guys can see one line here that is so bad one line here and then we've got another line here and then we've been just bouncing in between this area as you guys can see we then broke above and we've been having very, very hard resistance at this level, guys. At around the $62,000, $63,000 level, guys, we've been having some very, very strong resistance, which means, okay, that we need to break this resistance in order to get up live, okay? Um, and for those of you who watch this video to, to the end, you're going to understand why I'm making this video because I promise you, okay, I'm not going to say I'm going to tour the second top in Bitcoin, but guys, when everybody is bearish and when everybody's saying, oh, to the moon, to the moon, to the moon, that's when you start thinking, maybe we need to look at the price action, okay? So look at this. This is pretty crazy, okay? Um, and, I, and I'm so glad I'm going to make this video. Maybe this video just goes in the dust and doesn't reach the algorithm and, you know, it just, it's just trash. But just look at this, okay? So 
we can see, okay, that in this pattern, okay, there is, you know, there's support here. There's also support here. There's also support here. There's also resistance, resistance. Okay, but look at this, guys. The pattern ends on, it ends around, you know, in the next two days. In the next two days, we're going to have an answer. In the next two days, we're going to have an answer, okay? Because Bitcoin has supported on this line, as you guys can see. Um, and it's also been rejected out of line, which means we're going to have to break out either to the upside, which means huge upside for every altcoin. Um, or we're going to break to the downside, okay? Which means there's going to be a significant retracement all the way back down to this level, guys. Which means in the next couple of days, there's going to be a major crypto move for all markets, guys. You know, because if Bitcoin goes up, if Bitcoin goes up, it's going to literally go to like 66,000 or whatever, meaning that altcoins are going to pump as well. You know, but if Bitcoin retraces, altcoins are going to take a nice hit, okay? Um, and this is why I'm saying, okay, look at this, guys. This pattern ends at around 21st of October. So if we look back at the Sheeb, okay, where is Sheeb? Sheeb is like, you know, it's 21st of October, guys. This is why I say it's very, very weird. The 21st of October, this pattern ends. On Bitcoin, the 21st of October, you know, if you look at the date, it's the same. So, so like within the next two days, okay, you know, not within the next two days, in the next three days, okay, well, actually two days in a couple hours, but we're going to have a crazy move, guys. And it's all about whether or not that's going to be a retracement or an explosive move up. Now, um, as you guys can see, if Bitcoin starts to trade above this area right here, we're going to have an explosive move up. And if it starts to trade down this area, we're most likely going to be coming back down to test this support. I do believe we're going to eventually come back to test this $55,000 level, which wouldn't be bad. This would be extremely healthy, guys. You guys don't understand that, you know, many times in crypto when we're going up, look at this, okay? Remember this phase right here when we went up, okay? We came back down, we went all the way retraced back to 21 week gaming, then we started pumping again, okay? And it was completely fine, okay? Um, and even then, guys, which is crazy, if we look at the weekly chart, okay? Um, this is why you need to know but bitcoin bitcoin the significant level for bitcoin is 21 week ma and that is currently at 47,000. okay um and also not just that guys if we look at the golden pocket where bitcoin could retrace to meaning that SHIB could retrace to i think SHIB, if it breaks down here if bitcoin breaks down and SHIB breaks down i think that that's going to be at the um 19 cent level or 15 cent level and then we could probably get the rsi touching the support which would probably be the the probably the easiest money making opportunity of 2020 which i would just literally just i wouldn't say put it all on red but that would be literally the easiest buy because the rsi would be perfect um you know it would be in the perfect golden pocket for the next run up um and bitcoin would have made the perfect retracement and also guys even look at dogecoin okay dogecoin let's look at where you know the night 21st of october is as you guys can see as we trade close to this line okay dogecoin is either going to hit this level okay and it's either going to you know explode up because it's going to be confirmed outside of this box or we're going to have to you know confirm down and that's going to be a major move down guys but even then okay if we move back down here we know that this is extremely strong support meaning that there's going to be a, finally the explosive move up and out of this guys so Overall, what I'm trying to say to you, overall, what I'm trying to say to you guys, in three different cryptocurrencies that I've been looking at every single day, there's evidence to show that within the next couple of days, okay, on the 21st of October, okay, because Dogecoin has to make a move, okay, it has to go sideways, and if it's going to go sideways, we either break up, explosive move up to here, or this is, or like, there's going to be explosive move down to here, guys. Um, and I know you guys think this might not be helpful, but just guys, trust me, okay, you need to understand this stuff, because if you do, then you could take advantage of the opportunity when it comes, because when Shiba drops, for example, let's say if Shiba was to drop, like, um, let's say it was to drop all the way, for example, like over the next couple of weeks to 16 cents, okay, some people would panic, they'd be like, oh, Shiba's dead, da, da, da. I'd be like, okay, Shiba's at 16 cents, perfect golden ratio, perfect on the rsi i'm buying a ton of here and then the next couple of weeks when my money doubles or triples depending on what i do with my trades um i'm just going to be laughing all the way to the bank and then of course with dogecoin if dogecoin manages to retrace here i can also buy ready for the next explosive move upwards and then with bitcoin as well if bitcoin retraces this support level i know that this is a support level meaning i know it's going to bounce here meaning i can buy some bitcoin here and then and then take profits as we head up so this is what i'm saying guys you always want to pay attention to exactly what's going on i would say um right now i'm a little bit cautious i'm cautiously optimistic i'm not saying i'm bearish i'm just saying that if we do do a healthy retracement do not be surprised that's all i'm saying but also don't get extremely bearish i'm not gonna get bearish if we do a retracement i'm just saying right now the charts are telling us that you know either way it's going to be a very very um impulsive move guys and you should be prepared for either direction okay so if I see Bitcoin and Dogecoin trading outside of their respective lines, we can enter. And if I see them trading down here, then I'm going to exit because I know what the price targets are. I know that Bitcoin is eventually going to trade all the way down to here. So I'm not going to hold all the way down. Do you know what I mean? I'm um, saying for Dogecoin, I'm not going to hold all the way down to here. I'm just going to wait for it to get there. Then I can buy. So that's my personal strategy. This is not financial advice. You should listen to me. But I'm just saying that I just feel like everyone is way too bullish now. And I remember the last time, guys, like I remember the last time, okay, when things got super, super bullish at around 60,000. Guys, there were three times, okay, look at this. Three times when Bitcoin had major retracements and every other altcoin dipped on this, okay? Four times, actually, four times, okay? 
four separate times where Bitcoin caused a major retracement in all cryptos, guys. Okay, if we even look back on it, it was on February, uh, March, February, March, April, and May. And if we look, okay, because Shiba wasn't was Shiba even you know active then? Um, if we go back to you know Shiba was probably in its accumulation phase. Um, so yeah, yeah, she she wasn't even like you know I don't even know not on, not on Binance then, so I don't have the chart. But um, you know, if we go on Dogecoin, you guys can see um you know where's february i can't even see it february yeah february the first peak and then as you guys can see in march there was kind of like a retracement you can barely see it and then april this is the april retracement then here was the next retracement the may final may retracement so um yeah as you guys can see may around may the 8th yeah i remember may the 8th guys may the 8th look at may the 8th um on bitcoin when it had that retracement um, so yeah, guys, when you have these impulsive moves, there's going to be a huge move down, which there can be. Okay. I would just say, just pay attention because, um, you know, this, this could be a move that no one's expecting guys. Remember crypto does, if everyone thinks crypto is going to do something, crypto usually doesn't do that thing. So I would say right now I'm cautiously optimistic. And this is the video that I'm most important about because it, it's level headed. I'm not saying sheep to the moon, Dogecoin to the moon. I'm saying guys, we have an equal scenario on where we could be going. Okay. So in the next three days, I would say, be careful with your crypto, okay? Be very careful. Me personally, I'm staying on the sidelines right now. I'm not going to enter all in. Um, I'm just staying on the sidelines because I don't know just yet where we're headed. But I do feel that we are in for a correction, guys. And I feel like I would not be surprised at all. If we did just explode up, very good. You know, that's going to be amazing for everyone. Um, setups are all there. But um, even if we do explode up, then I, then I would be 100% taking my profit, guys, um, if I did have some in. But at the end of the day, let me know what you guys think, okay? Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so something I forgot to mention, guys, is um something called in trading. Okay, what's called buy the rumor, sell the news. So basically, um, this is something that literally happens every single time without fail, okay? And I want you guys to please pay attention, okay? I know this video is going to be a bit long, but this is probably going to be my most important video. And I don't want to be one of those guys that said, I told you, so I told you it was going to crack. No, I just want to be able to give you guys the information, give you guys both sides of the story, tell you which is most likely, and then you guys can make an informed judgment on yourself, okay? So buy the rumor, sell the news is basically, you know, so let's say, for example, there was something new getting launched on Apple. People would buy it and then a release date of that, you know, news coming out, um, the price always tanks. OK, so it basically says um, open a position ahead of a news amount. So that could affect the assets price. Um, and then usually the price plummets. OK, as you guys can see by the rumor and then on the news, it usually dips. As you guys can see, sell the news by the rumor, guys. So for now, what is the rumor about Bitcoin? Well, I'm going to show you guys. OK, so for Bitcoin, you guys can see first Bitcoin futures exchange, a traded fund to start trading Tuesday. What to know before you add it to your portfolio. So basically, there's a huge Bitcoin ETF. OK, um, people are saying that this is going to bring the price of Bitcoin up. This is saying that, you know, this is on Tuesday, guys. Remember the Tuesday, OK, is the just tomorrow. Um, you know, it's the 19th. OK, 19th, 20, 21st. I, I, I really do feel like um, this is probably going to it, it, it could really could mark the top guys like i, I don't want to say it is but i just feel like it just this is just way too many factors you know the the, the what, what do you call the word um the confluence the confluence guys confluence is basically a bunch of factors you know relating to one um as you guys can see this is just you know it's pretty crazy okay um basically there's a whole bunch of news saying the bitcoin etf is getting added um and you know people know that this 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 news is going to happen people know that this is going to happen on this said date so um yeah it's pretty crazy it's definitely pretty crazy and i would say that also okay look at this okay if you guys don't believe me um the, Co the coinbase ipo okay if you look at the coinbase ipo the coinbase ipo was on the 14th of april i do believe okay as you guys can see look okay coinbase ipo goes public um and the last time bitcoin futures started trading on an app guys look what happened okay this is pretty crazy okay this is pretty crazy stuff i could just be some crazy guy you know who just gets left in the dust or whatever but look at this guys when when coinbase went public okay um coinbase ipo let's actually find the date i'm pretty sure it was the 14th of april but if we go back to bitcoin's chart okay i'm going to show you guys okay if we go back to the 14th of april you guys can see that literally on the 14th of april okay that's when bitcoin topped out at, okay guys you can see that okay 14th of april that was the exact bitcoin top to a t okay so um yeah the last time something like this happened and started trading that was the exact top and we and we never we haven't been back since i'm not saying that's going to happen i'm just saying since we have all of these patterns forming i would expect us to come back down i i just really would now that i'm looking at everything with a level head and i'm not i'm not i'm trying to be objective and biased everyone every time i've seen i've even seen certain bears get really bullish here 
um, yeah, I, I would just genuinely expect us, you know, the only bullish thing I would say, we're most likely going to hit, you know, if we do anything, it will be hit 65 and then come down. Okay. So for me, um, am I bearish or bullish? No, I'm just saying that you guys need to understand the risk. Okay. I'm not just saying sell everything now, sell everything. All I'm saying is, okay, if you know that there's a possibility that things could take, um, you know, 20 to 30 percent drop across all assets maybe bitcoin drops nine percent you might reduce your exposure maybe you just do nothing but at least you know ahead of time okay this is the possibility and i'm you know accepting that risk okay that's all i'm gonna say okay because right now this is definitely pretty crazy so with that being said um and i'm not hearing this narrative being spoken anywhere else so um yeah usually you what you want to do um is you want to go against the herd um and i would just say um you know i'll see you i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video